Finally, I can choose a reporting style. I've chosen to display the passwords when they're audited, also display the encrypted password hashes, also to show how long it took to unencrypt or to audit each password, the method used, and to make visible notification when the auditing is done. Finally, I say Next. It summarizes all my settings and allows me to finish and begin auditing. Now you can see the process. It was quite quick. Auditing session has now been finished. When I look at this, now I see a list of different user accounts. Notice that the administrator account has a password of password. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I mean, oh, the system found that almost immediately. Notice, however, that the password for Bubba was not found. This means that maybe Bubba's password was a little bit more difficult than a simple dictionary word. So we might have to try something a little bit different. I'm going to come up to Session, select Session Options, and now more than just the dictionary crack, I'm going to do a Dictionary Brute Hybrid, where I'm going to do some substitutions. I select OK, and then I start the crack again. Now notice that there are a series of question marks and exclamation points on the password for Bubba. Also notice on the right hand side that I have a total number of words of 29,156 and it shows me how many words have been done and the percent. As I'm waiting here, let me tell you about one of your good guidelines for passwords. Remember that we want to use not just upper and lower case letters but also many unusual symbols as much as we can. Using those different symbols and longer passwords of at least 12 characters, ideally, but certainly at least six, will help us resist this same type of password attack. Now this is interesting. Notice that I've said OK, and Bubba still has not been found out. 